Hello, welcome to Mrs. Green Thumbs channel. Today is day 12. Um, I wanted to vlog this because I thought it was a, like a really important thing to see. I might come back because if it goes into chrysalis, I might have labeled this uh, day 12A and day 12B tonight. But uh, this is what I'm catching on right now. Uh, I thought this was like an important thing to keep as a note on here, what it does after when it climbs. It took like, it started to do this in the middle of the night and it's been there since the middle of the night, like this position. So uh, let me show you guys what it looks like right now. And there it is. Let's see if I can come a little closer to, to it so you can see. Look at that. Look at that baby. That's the start. Uh, send a message to you on where... Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I'll go on there after for a little bit, and then I got to go do some work. But um, I wanted to vlog this. Look at how David, how it looks now. Look at the turn. Um, how the the caterpillar looks. The stage is kind of a cool stage. Hey, Dave, how are you? Thanks for joining me. I can't get any closer than that. I really wish I had better camera equipment, but I don't have it. So uh, seven is enough. Hello. How are you? Thank you for joining me. Um, is that cool? This is the, if you guys are interested, I'm doing a whole vlog on it from what I got it, a tiny little thing. And this is, is a learning thing for me too. This is my third year doing Monarch butterflies, but this is the first time I've ever vlogged it on a daily basis. The changes that occur. I got it as a tiny, tiny little thing. If you look for day one, you'll see it, but I have done it from where I hatched them from an egg. I just couldn't get an egg. So, um, I will be continuing this. This is my series throughout the summertime until uh, uh, probably September. And then I will uh, call it quits on this series until next year, until I figure out how I want to do it again. But I'm going to raise it every year that I can. I'm actually uh, building a, a butterfly garden for it too. So I have plants that are zinnias that are growing. I did a live stream on it this morning um, and different flowers that they like. So I got milkweed, two different kinds of milkweed. I ordered seeds for another kind of milkweed. And this is just the stages that, uh, and I put points out uh, below that I find that are really valuable if people want to try it or want to know about it. Uh, there'll be notations after I, my live stream is done. I, I won't be any longer than an hour, uh, rough, roughly 15 minutes to an hour. Um, so that's, well, thank you. Um, now, I don't think I've ever seen, I've done it the first year I did a video. The second year I would jump in and do live streams. And this time I'm vlogging it every single day until it turns into a butterfly. Uh, the stages, and it's actually quite cool. The more I do this, the more I learn myself. So technically roughly when I went back to the first two years ago, when I raised it, I kind of notated things on a video. So I had to go look at it and roughly it took to get to the point where it turns into a big enough caterpillar where it's ready to do that chrysalis part and climb to the top roughly takes about 12 days. That's what I timed it. Now, right now, this has been since last night, it climbed to the top yesterday. It's been sitting there and now it's starting to hang and pretty soon it'll come in. I'm, I'm going to come back and show you when it starts to turn into a chrysalis. I wish the camera, like I get better colors for you, but I can't do anything about it. The netting is safe. It's a, it's designed for butterflies so they don't hurt themselves. So um, I can't get it any more clear than I have right now because I, I want to be safe with it. So, and I didn't even move it because it, technically it's probably, if it does a good job, it's strong enough for me to move that container, but I'm not going to take any risk uh, of dropping it at this point because that's very dangerous for that, that little creature. And we're calling it a girl. So I don't know if you have any questions, but a lot of your questions will be answered if you watch the, the live streams. The, the vlog that I've done so far. Um, so anyways, we'll see. I want to see how many hours it takes. So if I said roughly it's 1127 Eastern Standard Time right now, this occurred in the middle of the night, so I don't have how many hours that took from it to become like this. But we know right now it's still in this stage at 1128, and we'll see if it becomes a chrysalis by tonight. So if it does, that's a different stage, and I'm going to come back and film that. I'm going to vlog it as um, day 12, 
uh, B. So this will be 12A and 12B will be tonight if it switches. If not, then I'll come back and do another vlog for 13 days, what it looks like. And so first, because I, what I documented was from once it becomes a chrysalis, I believe it takes 11 days to turn into the butterfly. So I'm, I'm going to see how accurate I am. Because last year, I was paying attention to the first year I did a video, and it timed it. And I had two butterflies I released last year, named after my daughter, Amy and Ashley. And I looked and I went, all right, let's see how long it says. So it says like 12, 11 days, I think I have. So I went time and I said, oh, these don't look ready. I don't think this is going to be ready in 11 days. Sure enough, they were hatched that night on the 11th day. They were both born within probably so many hours of each other, but they were, they were already out. Like when I woke up in the morning, there they were, they were, I didn't catch it on film because I, it was, I was sleeping when they, when they came out of the chrysalis, but, uh, and they were all a little happy and yep, they did pretty good from the beginning when I got them. So I'd like to have some more eggs and stuff and show you from an egg what it looks like, but, uh, I don't have any. It's, I have not seen any, not one monarch butterfly. That's why I'm doing this. It's amazing that if you start looking at it, I was watching in 2000 and, um, I want to say 17, it said that they're on the endangered species so close to being endangered that if we don't do something about it. Now I know everybody, lots of massive amount of people are working on to, to bring them back. Um, I'm just one, one person, a part of it. My parsley worm were in and hatched out in spring. It is so amazing. Oh wait, so that long? My parsley were, were in chrysalis all winter long, winter. They take that long, winter and hatched out in the spring. It is so amazing. So David, that took that long to hatch? It didn't turn, turn, turn into a butterfly until all winter long till the next season? Wow, that's a long time. I was going to try with one of those, but that's a long time to keep it in the house, especially with five, four cats. Oh, boy, I don't know if I could do that experiment. Wow, that's a long time. So I think I'll, I might make this just a 50-minute live stream because I've already been on long enough. Uh, that's what I'm going to say. Just make this today's be a short one and later on tonight if I have to come back, I will make it a longer live stream. But right now, I'm just happy that I documented it like this. The bent over stage until, I don't know if it's resting, resting period. I don't know what it what it's exactly doing. I think it's really cool. So actually, is it those uh, partially worms are a swallowtail butterfly, right? That's what I was looking at after when you started doing it last year, Dave. They're called swallowtails. So just amazing. Uh, like I did yesterday. I think I'll put a song to it on this live stream, but it's only gonna I'm gonna only be here for about 15 minutes um, for today. But let me give you a really pretty song. I like playing this one. If it opens up, I will. They will hatch depending on weather conditions. They were outside uh, side wall winter.
Sheila. Hello, doll. How are you? Oh, David Rice, where are you? Where are you this morning? You, you weren't there this morning. This one, I'm only going to make this a quick live stream today because I think I'm coming back tonight because of the condition this in. It might be turning into a chrysalis tonight, so we're going to find out. I'm going to see when I notice it and come back and report it. Um, but thanks. Well, my favorite YouTuber is just wonderful, David. We missed you, you guys. We missed you. It was a slow morning for me, but uh, I appreciate you coming now for sure. A uh, thumbs up to you guys. Thank you so much. What do you think of the, uh, look at the caterpillar. It's weird looking, eh? Just hang in there. I miss it. Um, um, wait a minute. I miss it. I'm to Tony Wimper Sniffle. You're so funny, David. But anyways, it's all good. It's okay. You know where to find me between 9 and 10 Eastern Standard every morning. I'm here. So pop in and say hi, and if you can stay, stay, and if just pop in and say hi, that's cool too. Um, that's what I'm going to say on this one. So this is going to be a really short live stream. Uh, good, enjoying my day off. I have to work tomorrow at both jobs. Oh, yeah, you're a busy girl. I already knew that. I didn't want to ask if you were working, Sheila. I know where you are. If I don't see you, you are working quite hard. You are definitely working for the money. But uh, anyways, I'm proud. I can't wait to see the butterfly. Can't wait. Let's see. It's going to take, like I said, in a chrysalid, it's going to go turn, I think it's 11 days from that day. But I'm going to keep an eye. I want to check something because uh, Susan sent me something that apparently it says, if you look at it, you can be able to tell whether it's a boy or girl by the markings to do with a chrysalid. So I want to see if those facts are right. I'm just curious to see uh, what I'm looking for. I got to watch the video. I didn't watch it yet. So I want you to enjoy your day off. That's fabulous. So. I think tomorrow's live stream, I'm gonna, I might do just on the challenge and see how everybody's doing with their tomatoes. That's what I might do. I got to jump in and see what's going on with the tomatoes. If anybody got a video yet to do with the tomato challenge, I might throw that out tomorrow and see what happens. Thank you. It says seven people there, five thumbs up. Thank you very much. Uh, eight people in the channel, five thumbs up. Thank you. And look at how cool that is, guys. I think it's, uh, I have a blast doing this and promoting the monarch butterfly. I really do. Thanks, guys. Six and six. That's awesome. Thank you very much. Woo. Hey, MT. You came back. I'm not going to stay long. That's what I told you. Because um, I fear I'm coming back tonight. So not fear, but so I'm going to get off right now because I already been on and I just wanted to record this. But normally I come on for my, my big long chat in the morning and then come and talk less than an hour. For the butterfly, so people will actually watch the live streams and they're not too long. So I'm going to say, actually, I'm getting off. It's 15 minutes, and I'm going to say thank you very much, guys. Love you all. Thanks for coming. Don't forget to, if you didn't, don't watch it, the daily vlog, help me out and watch the daily vlog if you can't watch it when you're with me. Um, let's promote and, and let's get that out to do with the monarch butterfly. All right, guys. Thank you very much. Uh, that's my bye. And see you later, guys. Have a great day. See you later.